hello today i am going to show you how you can bind combo bots with database value so first of all i am going to take one combo bots okay now we need one database so i am going to create database you can uh, create database using this server explorer now i am going to delete this and going to create one new database combo bots and okay yes now it take some time to create this new database when it done you can see here this new database okay now right click on this table add new table and then we have to take field over here i am going to take this where here again ct and where here now i am going to save this table okay if you want to save this table then you have to click here control s so you can see this dialog box and here you can write your table name i take this table one okay now close this now go here right click over here and go on show table data so now i am going to insert few records over here okay now i am going to save this now we have a lots of way to fill this database like if you want to fill this combo bots when click on this button so first of all i will show you this when you click on this you can see here records okay then we will show you how you can do this like uh, using form load okay now here we have to add using system.data.sql client we need this library now here we have to database connection and right click on this and property and we have to take this data source i copy and paste over here okay now we have to do database connected here connection open connection close sql command now cmb dot command type is equal to command type dot text now cmd dot command text and here we have to write our select query select we want right now name select name from table one if you want city then you have to write here select city from table one now cmd dot execute known query now data table dt is equal to new data table SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter CMD then DA dot fill now here we can pass DT and now we have to use for each loop for each data row DR in DT dot rows and now here we have to write combo bots one dot items dot add and here we have to pass our column name so we want name so dr name dot to string and here we have to clear old items now you can see when i what is the error where 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 oh
Okay, now we can see output. Right now you can say this is the blank. When I click on this, now you can see I get this four record over here. So this way we can fill when you click on this button. But I will show you one best way. You have to create one function here. Public void. Uh, I type cc function name should be cc you can write anything now I just cut this code and paste over here now it was so easy now if you want to call this you have to write like this only now you can see click you can see data now if you want to perform this operation on page load then open this form double click here in form so you can see here a form one load so cut this and only paste over here now when page load you can see this all data in this combo box so this way we can fill combo box with database value if you want ct field then you have to write just over here ct and here also you have to write ct now we are going to check okay. we can see here you get combo uh, you get database city value inside this combo box now you can see here rash code is repeated over here if you want only rash code one time then you have to write like this you have to use distinct value select select distinct city from table one now you can see only rise code one time okay so this way we can bind uh, combo bots with database value thank you so much if you like my video then please share it so anyone can use also this and you can subscribe also and give me one like thank you so much to show my video